Welcome back everybody to the start of our brand new Achaemenid Empire. Our poor boy yesterday when we left off, uh, myself and Maz Donna of Gurgen, not very happy about his life. Uh, we've got an option here, we either go for Profligate, which basically means that, you know, goodbye to all your gold, or we go for Confider, which is also a really good way of starting friendships. Some of these stress traits also have really positive sides to them, like for example, Drunkard, if you actually go to feasts or, um, take the decision to, to drink, you can end up just making friends out of it, so same with Confider, really. Problem with this is, of course, the hooks and the blackmail that comes out of it, that's fine by me. There we are, no longer overwhelmed by stress, fantastic, if only that's all it took. Uh, let's go to a... Confidant as well, just to get that stress even low. We might as well take it when we can get it. All courtiers lose opinion. We might as well do it now when we haven't got any secrets or hooks or anything like that. So we ended yesterday losing a war against Emir Hassan because he was a big coward and hired mercenaries. We almost had him. It was down quite literally just to the gold difference. So if we want to go to war again, I think we should probably save a bit of pocket money and then maybe even go as far to invest into some better troops as well. What have we got right now? Just camels. Yeah, getting another Man at Arms Regiment, maybe getting it to both out of three of three. Assuming we could afford the upkeep wouldn't hurt too much. Oh, a wife is dead. Lengthy torture session? Holy shit. Our soulmate. Well, that stressed him out. Well, thank God we got rid of that stress when we did. Otherwise, that'd be another mental break. Um, Holy shit. And who was that? That was, that was you, you little fuck. Right, done. Oh, you are so dead. I can't believe you murdered my wife to death. Okay, uh, is that really all we can do, huh? We can just try and murder him. We're never going to succeed with that, but we'll at least let it, you know, well, there's a chance. I'm not going to say we're never going to succeed. We've got a 15% chance. Might have to do it one or two or three or six times on average to get that fired, but that's okay. So we'll go wife hunting then. Uh, not like, not like that guy just did. I mean, wife hunting in the, in the sense here that we're looking for a new wife. Uh, that sucks. That really does suck. Uh, our daughter... Zoroastrianism intensifies. We gain 100 prestige each because we are related. And there's a good chance of gaining genius or intelligent. All right, let's do it. Blondie. Blondie and Madonna. What you've always wanted. George Michael comes of age. And he became a mastermind philosopher. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Um, they grow up so fast. So I, I think our guy is educating, if I'm not mistaken. We were educating George Michael and David Bowie. David Bowie, of course, being the genius there. So I've got qu quite high hopes for him. Um, I guess we'll take on Guns and Roses as well now. Um, get rid of you and then educate you ourself. There we are. He gained Intricate Web Weaver. Brilliant. Okay, absolutely fine. Kids are coming out really good this time. We did a good job with that. Can't ransom out our kid. Damn. Um... Michael Jackson, unfortunately, is, is stuck, basically. Um, I guess we'll forget about him then. We could always educate our... We could educate our wife. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> ah, okay, why not? Sod it. Commenting on his copious codpiece will throw him off. Ooh, my, my lord, what a copious codpiece you have. Hmm, what are you hiding? Of course, we can marry our kids together. Excellent. Annie Lennox and George Michael. I, I don't think she's a good match. What did George Michael have? Intelligence. See, I want at least intelligent or higher. Um, Sangmu is 37. We can give it a go, and it's guaranteed, right? The trait might intensify, resulting in genius. Yeah, let's go for it. And then we can always we can always divorce her, by which I mean drown her in the sea if, if she gets to kind of, you know, mid-40s without having provided a decent air. And diplomacy perks again. Nice. So we've already got Patriarch. Um, foreign affairs effectiveness 25% or start going down to August. That gives prestige. That one gives independent ruler opinion plus 20. Fucking hell, that's massive. Um, flexible truces. Ooh, no prestige penalty for breaking them. I like the sound of that. Um, I, I do think... Oh, of course, I also asked yesterday as well. I completely forgot to mention this. What you guys thought about doing a, a different tree with each character. Kind of a mixed response. A lot of people seem quite interested. The highest devoted comment did say, you know, seems like an interesting idea because this game is, in my opinion anyway, a lot easier than CK2. Much easier to min-max, much easier to blob out of control. That's why I was thinking it'd give us a chance to look at all of them. We'll, we'll kind of add the rule that if we are getting our ass handed to us, if we're getting wiped out, of course, we'll, we'll go back to kind of the regular intended play style. So for, for the time being, we will go through tree at a time and sort of see how it goes here. Um, fellow Vassal Opinion plus 15. Uh, I'm not sure which one to go for. Sway Scheme Power 30%. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that one for a start. David Bowie keeps the Lust Hall. That seems appropriate. Only gains Elusive Shadow. Whoa, that's good. Wow, I'm actually quite impressed by that. Um, so when we eventually marry her, she's going to be an incredible 
I mean, we could have her as our spy master if we really wanted to. In fact, we can have her as our spy master, right? Oh, Guns N' Roses is better. Shit. Even though he got intricate web weaver. Um, all right. Go on, then. Because our wife is going to be uh, the, the spouse role anyway. So that's fine. Killing two birds with one stone there. Or support schemes. And then we marry Blondie. Right? And then we set her on court intrigue. Oh, it already beat me to it there. Oh, this is going to be great. And what's our plot looking like now, then? To get, avenge the death of their mother. Uh, 35%. It's slightly better. It's still not fantastic, is it? It's spitting slightly more than that. But it's much better than it was. We've doubled it. 35% chance he's killed. 50% chance he's discovered. Get him. Ends your scheme. We gained 10 dread. So we failed to kill him, unfortunately. Uh, all close family members and spouse him. Gain attempted murder. But we gained dread, which is fine. Uh, still not a massive loss. Well, Michael Jackson, he's going to come of age at this point and not... We haven't got any really way to help him out there. Uh, remove the guardian for you and we'll educate you. So we're educating all of our kids there. I mean, we're a great educator. Genius, obviously. Uh, patriarch as well seems pretty good. Let's go for another concubine. Um, oh, we could save our other daughter as a concubine too. Although that doesn't count for the prestige, does it? So we might not want to do that. We might want to save it for a different son instead. Uh, steward. What are we looking at? Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. I mean, we'll see how David Bowie comes out first, because he might... Oh, go on. We, we, I mean, someone's better than nobody, right? Chancellor, my son, brother-in-law, and spy master. <laughs> um, we'll give it to George Michael, and we'll just have him collect taxes. And there we go. We've got another diplomacy lifestyle perk. Fantastic. Spire and rule. Monthly prestige per powerful vassal on the council, 5%. Well, that's never going to happen. Monthly prestige per dread, plus 1%. That's quite significant. That's not bad. Um, I, I think I'd rather just start heading towards Diplomat. David Bowie became skilled tactician and reckless. Um, 16 Marshal, though. Still better than our current Marshal, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, way better. Look at this. Who needs important courtiers when you could just breed your own council? Brilliant. Okay, um, we'll have you training commanders. I think that's probably not a bad idea. Currently a war. Shit. Uh, what are we looking at in terms of truce, then? Uh, 7, 8, 8, 89, so five months. Let's hope that will last that long. Um, we are currently in debt, so if there was any way we could make a little bit of cash on the side, uh, that'll do it. 50 gold. Problem solved, eh? Very nice. What about you? Just lowborn, randomer, 10 gold, zero, uh, getting no gold per month. We might as well just kick him out, huh? We could recruit him. He's not that good. Getting a hook on him? Nah, just kick him out, getting the opinion. I believe truce is expiring. Holy Wolf for Dutchy, get back in there. They count as superior... Yeah, they are superior, aren't they? Um, they're quite, like, significantly superior, too. Uh, I think let's create... Let's let's wait until we can create another Man at Arms regiment. Oh, man, I really want to bank on the fact that he's at war to, to push it. But he's, he's winning it. That's the problem. Another diplomacy perk. Bloody hell. Um, okay, we'll go for that one, then. We've got to go for all of them if we want to go diplomat anyway, right? Michael Jackson comes of age, became a tough soldier. Can I ransom him now? No. Why would you not accept it for 10 gold? There we are. Bloody hell. It's because we were in debt before. Right, okay. That's another better commander, I would assume. Uh, Michael Jackson is slightly better. Step in the right direction, I guess. Did he just gain more land? That's frightening. Um, oh, no, not quite yet. We need to try and get something from this guy before he gets out of control. Otherwise, we are going to lose our... We're basically going to have no advantage against anyone. Like, who can we declare one? Kazaria? I don't think so. We've got that or the Tahirid. Um... Who are disturbingly powerful. So it's basically this guy and nothing. Any Lennox? Uh, concubine? See, it doesn't actually give us anything. We just we just take her on as a concubine. So I think we'll save her for a marriage instead. Um, what did she What did she have? Quick. Unyielding defender, tough soldier. Damn. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and arrange a marriage between you and Guns and Roses. See, I want David Bowie to be our heir. There's a chance of gaining bonus to quick. Why are we gaining the Intensify? That's strange. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Maybe it's because last time we were bringing Genius and Genius. Maybe it was like a Zoroastrian specific thing. Oh, man. Um, is it just counting their allies there? Like Footman, Pikeman. They've got only got three commanders, though. Or three champions, I should say. Yeah, we just need a bit of gold. That's all I want. It's just a tiny little bit of gold. We could give it a go. You know, really risk it here. But I think we would just get clapped again. Or not. They just got clapped. Done. Similar. I'll take it. What did I just press war for? God, I hope I went for the right war gold. We did. Okay, we're good. Phew. <laughs> that could have been a that could have been a bad mistake. Right, get in there. 
Do the damage that you can as fast as you can. Let's go for there first. Should we go for their capital? Go for their capital, see if we can get their air. Let's do it. Their army? It is. Go for them. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Get him. Yes, slay. Nice. That wasn't their army anyway. Uh, allies, most likely, but that's okay. Right, outliving a child. <gasps> His first battle? <laughs> oh, come on, David Bowie. Damn, I wanted him to be already successful because he was genius, lustful, gregarious. Damn it, you son of a bitch. Okay. Um, right, let's go for their actual armies this time. You think we'll lose that? You think we'll lose that, really? Why? Oh, defending a river crossing, defending a river forest, better army commander, more army commander traits, higher quality, more men at arms counter. Fair enough. Um, probably should put a commander on then. You're right. How about now? About equal. Probably lose. Well, let's see if we can... They're going to disembark. Okay. Where are you going to? Oh. Oh, that was... That was nice. There we are. Whoa. Guns of Roses is dead. Who the fuck is this? Shit. Fine, we'll become a drunkard. Oh, there go our troops. Why? Why? <laughs> Who did he call in? The Safarids. Oh, we can't win that one. Oh, good God. I think we're going to have to swear fealty. I, I think that's the only way we're really going to get up onto momentum here. We've missed out too much now. Um, Raise the armies and... Nope. Okay, I surrender. I surrender. We can't. We can't win this. We can't win this. We're going to have to just... Okay, thank you. We are just going to have to swear fealty at this point. Because there's no expansion opportunities left for us now. Damn. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, he's made allies with... Um... Conquest of Gurgen. I can't... I can't stop this. There's literally nothing we can do now. Not with, not with that ally of his kicking around. We've got 121 dudes. Oh, I wonder if we'll win. Uh, brilliant. Okay, so if I surrender, that's a game over, isn't it? Oh my god, we've lost everything. Oh, it's fealty. Let me in, brother. Hey. Ah, <laughs> huh. okay. That's not ideal, but it's a start. Fuck. So all we've got left now is dear Stan. The capital of our final, final stand, really. Bollocks. Lost two sons in that war as well. Sweet Jesus. So our heir is still George Michael. It's pretty good to be fair. Oh, he had a kid. Intelligent. That's fine. Um, she's 45. But she's got to go. I'm sorry. She's got to go. We've got to swap her out. Uh, voice of my counsel. The Marshal. Thank you. This guy. I already like him. French bended. Right. Okay. Now we start being the sneaky... Oh, shit. Bollocks. We were uncovered immediately. Um, I guess we'll start fabricating claims now then. Brilliant. Start fresh. Oh my god, what? <laughs> wow. How has it gone this badly already? You honor me, son and heir. He becomes my friend. Uh, I think I can handle him. Oh, go on then. We'll go for the hundred. Yeah, great. Fucking hell. As if that's going to make any difference at this point. Go on then. Um, we have a slight problem here. Right, let's go for that. I feel better already. Talk to his confidant. There we are. Try and drop some stress down a little bit. And we'll just, we'll just start assimilating from the inside. That's the best way. And she is dead. Perfect. Son, that was for you, by the way. Trying to, trying to ensure this, the survival of this dynasty. Um, we could put aside... We could divorce Blondie and marry her to him instead. Perfect. Yeah. Done. Brilliant. <laughs> that might be the worst gameplay of the CK3 we've had so far. A failed war because they suddenly sprung an ally on us out of nowhere. Three dead sons and then our guy dies as well. There he goes. We are now George Michael. She's an example to us all. Yes, yes, she is. Okay. Well, at least we're safely shuffled under the Tahirids and we can kind of assimilate them from the inside. Um, we go for the Salmonids after that. We'll see. Oh, I mean, I want to take back our capital. That would be, that'd be ideal, wouldn't it? Take back Gurgen. Man. This is crazy. Well, there we are. Marzaban George Michael of Diastan. 
the uh, intelligent. I mean, he's intelligent. 15 martial, 15 intrigue. He's, he's pretty good. Yeah, I agree with that. We are married to our half-sister and wife, an analytical paragon, an elusive shadow. That's what I like to see. And then we've got a daughter who is uh, poorly named. Get out of here. Uh, right. I need more 80s names now. Everyone and their mother pointed out in the comment section about Freddie Mercury being Parsi, being Zoroastrian. There is... We've got to save that for the ultimate kid. If we breed like a genius... Uh, if, we, if we breed like a genius Amazonian beautiful man... That's the name. We'll save that one. We'll put that one on the mantelpiece. Female AT singer, Kate Bush, welcome. Uh, dynasty name as well. That's the other thing I've got to address here. Honestly, it's incredible. They, this is this is the best pun there ever could have been, and I can't. I, I think this is the ultimate name, Duran Duran. <laughs> it's just fantastic. And um, motto. They actually came up with a good motto too. Let me go and pull that up quickly. It's actually incredible. Thank you. How's Duran Duran? I mean, it's just. It just couldn't be better. Uh, you want me to be the steward? Excellent. Hey, that's pretty good. Thank you. I appreciate this this, this kind of representation, recognition amongst a realm where, I mean, we kind of just joined out of uh, desperation, to be frank. My God, we don't even have enough courtiers for a council. And we've got a claim. Hooray. We're now in horrible debt. Oh, no. So, we played as a diplomacy character last time. I think a learning lifestyle could be fairly interesting. Um, piety medicine. Try and live forever. I think we need a guy who can live forever. We we, we focused quite heavily on on the, uh, the the patriarch side of things, didn't we? As our last guy, the whole point of that was to build a dynasty. Then the dynasty all died. So this time we'll try and get this guy to live as long as possible for basically the same reason. Blondie is pregnant. Good news. Okay. Um, and then we've got another. We've we've got one other sister. We might as well make her a concubine. There's no reason not to. We're not going to marry anyone else, I assume. Oh, we got. She's fecund. That's not going to happen, though, is it? 50%. She's 44, though. Uh, I mean, we could try and find some other... Find a concubine. Oh, that's just going to bring up the same many. I could try and find someone. Um, it's not going to be easy as this guy. Let's go inside Diplo range, and then all. And let's see if we can just... Anybody is fine at this point. Why are they all old? Uh... 47, 53, 43, 53, 50, 60. Oh, my God. I sort it by opinion of us because they're the only ones we're going to be able to invite to court. Bear in mind, we're in debt and there's not a chance in hell this is even going to happen. They're all ancient. Okay, 26. Invite to court. Will not accept. Base reluctance. Minus 50. Brilliant. Okay, never mind then. Annie Lennox, Duran Duran, game the trait pregnant. 50 learning lifestyle experience or I save this old draw by myself. 72% chance. Oh, boom. What a guy. Did say someone joined our court. Yeah, there he is. Farhad. What's he like? Uh, a steward. He could be a good steward. Okay. Better than nothing again. There we are. Boom. Twins. Farin Duran Duran. Genius. And Bahar Duran Duran. Intelligent. What are these kids constantly contemplating? Okay. Um, my daughters. Uh, I've got to think of two 80s female singers. Perfect. May you grow strong and wise, Dina Turner and Pat Benatar. And we got a lifestyle perk. There we go. Let's go for anatomical studies. So we got them. Carefree. Stress gain minus 20%. That might be pretty good because then we can go a bit more fast and lose with educations. Um, all sorts of stuff, really. Wash your hands. Reduce chance of contracting illnesses. Restraint. Embrace celibacy and abandon celibacy. Never going to happen. Not in a thousand years. Not when we've got bloody three living dynasty members. Well, kids excluded. Whitney Houston. Hermat. Welcome. Uh, another intelligent. We've done a pretty good job with the eugenics already. Constant, intelligent, constant. Uh, we've got. A, we've had a few geniuses as well as a handful of them. Recruit them to my court. Yes, anybody. Please, for the love of God, anybody to fill my council. Um, so our best... Okay, let's assign you. Who have we got for... Okay, so we'll put you on there. That way we filled a position and made a position slightly better. Um, my God, I just need a bit of gold. Just need a tiny little bit of gold. See, he would be better as a marshal, and he's our chancellor. Um, we don't have anyone else. Okay, we've got spy master. Do we have anyone else with... Nah, let's it's, it's, leave it like that. That's fine. Otherwise, we've got to sacrifice some for the other. Right now, it's kind of nice and reasonable. Another perk. My god, this is fast with a level 4 education, isn't it? Um, what's can you add additional skills and can become your friends? I feel like taking that early on is pretty fantastic as well, right? Let's do it. We'll go for scholar. These ones, I assume, we just got to start off with, or maybe he chose them himself. I really have no idea. Obviously, I haven't touched that side of things. 
Um, it's going for pedagogy, pedagogy, your wards, pedagogy. Can gain additional skills and can become your friends. <laughs> got a feast. Costs a little bit of gold, but it's got us out of negative prestige, thank God. Uh, let's start, I guess, seducing our, our our wife and concubine. Oh, not Yasmin too. Just everything's going wrong. The love of a brother husband feels for his sister wife cannot be wrong. Done. Easy. Right, concubine. I took other random concubines just so the, the notification would piss off, because quite obviously we're not going to get anyone else to court right now. So we're just about to finish our second claim there. Boom. 93 gold. There we are. Perfect. So we now have claims on both of these guys and both of uh, Farad. Oh, has he got another one? I don't know. The borders look a little odd. Yeah, there we are. Um, so this guy, we can take over. Farava. And I think that's exactly what we'll do. Oh, look at this guy. He's been pushed out of his own territory. 887. Why couldn't you have had that when we had to fight you? You son of a bitch. Well, I think taking back our capital isn't far from far from the realm's possibility now. The Arg of Deer Stan. Oh, the, uh, the, the, the city. Is there any reason for me to not keep that? Uh, provide no taxes or levies. Pfft, okay. <laughs> I guess you've answered that question. Thanks. A lover brother feels for his sister. Cannot be wrong. Boom. Cannot be. Fully agree. There we go. Okay, so that's our concubines. Happy as all hell. Um... Open minded, different cultural opinion, ignore negative cultural opinion, scientific, cultural fascination, progress, a bit irrelevant for us. Level of devotion impact 100% or converting faith. I mean, theologian will be good eventually, but right now it's not a big deal. Let's go for the lower stress gain. Like I said, it'll be a bit more fast and loose with some of our options then. This one, for example. 28 stress. Oh, no. Oh, they're both bad. I mean, we're not going to do much with piety right now. I'd rather have the dread, I think. No! Another chance at a male heir. Um, we're looking for genius, ideally. Genius, genius son. Um, so ideally, that would be from the trait strengthifying, won't it? From strengthifying? That's a word. From, uh, Blondie. Ah! What's he like? Mazdonna. <gasps> genius Mazdonna. I'm gonna keep it. In honor of our first patriarch who was cut down in the prime of his life. Who lost so much and sacrificed so many things for us to be here. Perfect. Maz Bot Donna Duran Duran Genius. I'm in. That's fantastic. I didn't realize that Genius also gave a flat monthly lifestyle experience. My god. That explains why we're absolutely crunching through these learning tiers. Another daughter. Perhaps we should name her Blondie after your sister wife. Oh, that's a bit bizarre. Okay, Blondie it is. That's fine. Hey, she should she suggested it, and that's on that's on brand, that's on theme. How can I argue with that when the AI is actually on board with this terrible, goddamn awful idea as well? So we're basically just waiting for the prestige to come in so that we can declare war and grab something from this guy because we don't have um, that, you know, that 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 feudal uh, innovation. We, we, we can't press both claims simultaneously. We could just go for it now. He's inferior. I would rather wait a little while. Camels are, camels are fine. We'll go for some pikemen too. Really throw them off. Bowmen? Bowmen are pretty, pretty good. All right. Go for some bowmen as well. Create another... Another champion there as well. 15 prowess. I'd love to get this guy. We need 25 gold. So we'll just let that tick over a little bit. And then we'll get him on board as well. Bush, intricate web weaver. Damn, she grew up fast. Holy shit. Fearless zealot. She's not bad. She's definitely not bad. She's not incredible, but she's, she's not bad. Oh, balls. Well, <laughs> I started the war and then I ran out of hard drive space. So here we are. Uh, Mid-war. It's basically, to sum it up, us versus him for this province here. He's got 376 dudes. We've got 569 dudes. Both all equality. We've got five commanders. He's got five commanders as well. We've got camels. Um, the only problem is, right now, because we've only got one county, it means that... Oh, I think we can, we can win that. We can win that. Go on. Go for it. Because of the way... Because we've only got one county, it means if he sieges our capital, that's it. The war's over immediately. So, we've got to be very careful about about how we do it. We've got to basically, if we see him heading towards our capital, try and stop him. Unless we can potentially get the capital ourselves. Yeah, see, look, this is not ideal, is it? Go on, go clap him again. See if we can kill off these fucking troops. Get out of here. Go home. Hey, there we go. 78% from capturing his there. That's quite nice. Man, this won't be an issue in the future um, when we've... When we've got another county, but when 100% of our war, war score is all tied up like that, it's it's a bit risky. Come on. 80%. Right. How many troops have they got left? One. Fantastic. Go for his captain then. Sod it. Don't even want the war going. We might as well see if we can get some good prisoners to ransom off too. 100%. Thank you very much, my friend. 
Okay. Expansion. That's what I like to see. Another perk for the livestock. Bloody hell. Don't forget a minute with this. Um. Oh, were there any kids born in that time? Blondie? No, Blondie was Blondie was born before I think we ran out. Uh, Iron Constitution. Fertility 30%. Massive health boost. Feeling fine. Feeling fine. What, from a massive health? Oh, it only counts as penalties, I see. Fair enough. So if we get ill, we're, we're good. As my final act of vengeance, I would love to take back my capital. 1,932. Christ. Wait, what? Oh, Jailer. Oh, he's imprisoned. A similar. Really? To be fair, we've all the levies are in the toilet right now. Um, 125 prestige. I would love to take that back. So all we've done today, it's just a net gain, right? To the squeamish Marzavan George Michael. Uh, a peasant's lot is to serve their lord. We've got bloody peasant revolt now, for fuck's sake. We can't raise troops. Because they've... Re we, we can't raise troops because they rebelled in our capital. Oh, fuck off. What? Well, that's it. They slaughtered my family. We've taken up smoking the herb. We can't win. We, we cannot. Oh, what a terrible mechanic. What an awful, terrible, awful mechanic. That's fucking bullshit. Like, there's no way we, can, we can't fight it. We, we literally cannot do anything here. They've killed our, our, our wives, our concubines, our kids. That's almost reload worthy because that is some significant bullshittery right there. What happens if I surrender? Oh, yeah, great. Now we've lost control. Oh, I'll get my marshal on it. Oh, wait. We haven't got any courtiers. You are no longer overwhelmed with stress. Oh, I beg to fucking differ. Um, yeah, that is just pure ain. Uh. They killed off my only... <sighs> <laughs> Best fucking game. Who's my heir now? Kate Bush. <sighs> Fine. So be it. Who's this? Who? Conquest of the Marzipanate of Deer Stan. No! He's attacking my liege to take the rest of my fucking land. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll raise, I'll raise my armies. Oh, wait, fucking cool. Get out. Get out of my, get out of my lands. Get out of my lands. Stand there. No, I'm never, never lower troops. That's what I've learned from today. Never lower your troops. <sighs> Marry Kate Bush. Thank you, Kate Bush. Very cool. Thank you, Kate Bush. Very cool. Uh, recruit you. Get him on the council. You, brother. I am all in marshal right now. Next character, we're going marshal. Yeah, whatever. Have your diligence. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh, this man. Oh, this dynasty. You are still... You are in so much trouble when I've taken a minute to calm down. Holy shit. This is... Horrendous. This is horrendous. Our dynasty has just been stomped into the dirt today. As the... Oh, CK3 is really easy. Well, I mean, it's not. We haven't really gained much permanent effects besides family members dying, and even they're replaceable, but shit. God damn. We've gained a county. Let's look at the positive. We've gained a county. We've got another one lined up. Uh, and we can expand now. So much for me swearing bloody fealty so our liege will protect us. I mean, he's done an okay job. I can't complain too much, I guess. What? I just, I just spent gold to recruit someone to court. I assigned them my spy master, and then they left my court. They've done that twice now. You can't do that. That's illegal. Right, recruit to court, assign. I swear to God, you leave and I will hunt you down. I've got nothing left of me here. I will pack my bags. Right, know thyself. What does that do? When death of natural causes is one year away, you receive a warning. That seems very powerful. And then healthy. Health, medium boost. We need it at this point. And we've got an unpressed climb lined up there. Very nice. Okay. So we've got... Uh, my liege, I need some help. Otherwise, we're going to lose more bloody land. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, there goes the capital, I guess. Oh, let me guess. You're going to kill more of my family members. That's fine. Go on. Kill them. See if I care. That's it. Got Whitney Houston in prison. <sighs> Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Appreciate it. Really do. Uh, I, I mean, we can counter siege it, but it, it's down to our liege to actually stop this war. Because I can't stop it. 
We've got 400 dudes. He's supposed to protect us. We go for like a... Like a charge on his capital, couldn't we? Let's do that. Fuck him. Wait, who is this? Tapras Stan. Am I... Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Attackers, attackers. Yeah. Oh, it is that dude. Right, I just wanted to double check. Oh, we can't embark, so I'm getting bloody gold. Pat Benatar comes of age. Great. Oh, look. More troops coming into my capital. So you can play that game, you piece of shit. Why can't we see just capital? Hello? Why... Hello? <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to see his capital now. What am I doing wrong here? War leader. Emir Bahir Ibn Hassan of the Alvanid Emirate. His capital... The Alvarid Emirate is there. I can't see his capital... For reasons. Am I misinterpreting things here? Sorry, forgive me. Am I being dense? No, I'm definitely not being dense. Uh, so as a, as a vassal, I cannot siege an enemy's realm that's trying to take my shit. You might as well just give him it, brother. You might as well just give him my, give him the shirt off my back. The guy whose title we stole assassinated us. <laughs> Kate Bush, here we go. Third generation already. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. How has this gone so wrong so fast? Oh man. Okay, go on. Go on then. Find me. Oh god, I, I just don't care at this point. Let's go for Kund. Why not? That's fine. Go on then. There we are. Welcome aboard. Got it. He actually bothered to help. Uh, we've lost that title that we that we gained. Don't know why. Don't know why we lost that. Couldn't tell you. Your half sister. So she inherited the title and then became a vassal of the other guy. Tina Turner, you fucking traitor. Tina fucking Turner. Right. Well. <laughs> I've had enough of this series to last me a lifetime. Thank you all for watching. Uh, yeah, that's good. That was good. I enjoyed the bit where everybody died. That was quite fun. Thank you in the meantime to Ben, D, P, B, Kyle, my doctor, hero of my crotch, philosophical you prize, Callum, James, three, Scott, L, Fire Scream, Sideshow C, Tom P, Scaz, Ethox, Devorda, Simba, I Step Cal, Zetlock, and everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on coffee. Thank you to those guys for making the channel possible in the first place. Thanks well to Archbishop, Blood Riot, Kamikaze, James B, Smirtworm, Galupo, Fruit Hag, Don, Afanapis, Dinosius, The Esoteric, Flabubba, Plumby, Fred, Valo, Consulus, Fiddle, Piddle, Diddle, Riddle, Davidovich, and everyone. Every, all of you. All of you. You only have yourselves to blame for this one. <laughs>